So basically our company is called uh, Gaomongpon Group. It means, in, in Thai it means uh, auspicious, nine auspicious things, right? So it's the concept of how we build the houses, like all the way from there, the feng shui and uh, the materials we use and how we look after our residents. So this is, um, uh, it's a housing unit, housing project. We have 341. Units. Housing project of yes. government? No, 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 no housing. We call private, it private. private. Yeah, private, private. 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 So 341 units, mm -hmm. uh, each unit uh, area is about 120 square. So three bedroom, two washroom, two parking. How many square meters? Well, about 120. What? 120, 120 square, meters. square meters. Yeah, square meters. In Thai, we use different uh, counting system, but you know, the metric system about 120. Okay, so uh, each unit- 120 is the structure, the house. Uh, what about the land? Usage, usage area. The land you think, yeah, what about yeah. the lot? The lot. land is uh, 19 square wa. I don't know. In the uh, US, how many square meters? Around 80 square meters. 80 square meters. Almost the same. So it's but uh, it's two story. No? Yeah, 76 square. Just the land. The land. Yeah, the land. 80, 80, 80 yeah. square, tapot, two story. Yeah. Yeah. About 120. About one twenty because you have to yeah. the second the second floor you have to kind of like yeah you know, accent yeah, yeah. So, so roughly and uh, I'll sh we'll show you the units inside yeah. and uh, facilities we have like a clubhouse swimming pool you know fitness a kids club uh, we have a organic garden where we grow vegetables like a small one and then we distribute to the to the residents you know small one. and then we have like uh, monthly activities where the residents can come and do things like we have Children's Day National Children's Day right. So they come and when we do um, EST, because our project is involved in a lot of EST activities, recycling things, doing things for cancer, the residents come and they participate with us. Um, so they're a part of the, a, a, you know, a part of, sort of like our family. How many units do you have here? 341. 341 units? Yeah. In, in, a, in a big lot, in a big, how many square meters, how many hectares? Total land, right? Uh, Because you're trying to compare this to us. In the no, 50,000 square meters. Okay. So five, five hectares. Hectare. Five hectares. Five hectares. Five hectares. Uh, so roughly. That's big. roughly. But the project area is also five hectares? Yeah, the whole project area oh. in here. Uh, but you know, in the Philippines, yeah, we have, for example, mm -hmm. uh, five hectares. Mm -hmm. Government uh, requires that you devote 10, 20 percent to the open space. Yeah. Here it's five percent. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. Thirty. Here it's five percent. A selling so area. It, it could have been have. It, it could have have uh, bigger houses, like three, four. Two, more. You mean more units or yeah, bigger houses? Yeah. This is this is maximum range. Right? Maximum. Yeah, right? because the, we have restrictions on the road. You, you see when you come in, right? Ah. The front road is about eighteen meters, but oh, by law it's twelve meters. By so yeah. We actually make like it a, a bit bigger. Well. Yeah, but five uh, five percent is for the public area, like the gardens and stuff. So basically, what you see in front here is the is the public area that's required. So your main area is twelve. So what you need is how much? Sorry, one 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 structure, each attached or detached. So units, townhouses, townhouse seven seven units in one lot. So the law in Thailand is each span is forty meters long. And does it have a separate title? Ownership? Yeah, yeah, all, all separate. separate. So separate. Three holes. Lots of seven Three holes. Seven. Of course, when you buy it, you can buy it on the store bill. With the bank? With the bank. How, how yes. much down payment do you need? We, we do a different model. Usually in Thailand, it's 10% down payment. 10% or whatever, right? And then you, um, so contract will be 5,000 baht, usually. You do a contract, 5,000. And then you, when you sign the contract, it's 10,000. And then the down payment is installments. About so, uh, 5,000 baht to reserve. Reserve. Yeah. And then 10,000 for signing the contract. Signing 10,000. Yes. So and then, that's about 15,000. Yes. And then 10% all together for the down payment, which you do in installments, depending on how long. Ah, depending on how long. 12 be months, depending on how long. So the down payment is 10%. So 10% will uh, we'll we'll be financed by the bank. Yeah. 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 But the bank here gives uh, 100%. Wow. Ah, very really good. Because the appraisal is bigger. Yes. It's higher. Yes. Yeah, so they can afford to yes. 100%. But our, our model, we don't do down payments. So, so when the units are ready to sell, uh, we do the marketing, people come in, they do the down payment. 
Just the five thousand baht, right? Sign the contract, ten thousand, and then we submission to the bank, and then we just transfer the money. We don't build the stock. How about the processing? Question: Are foreigners are foreigners allowed to buy land in the Philippines? No, China cannot. But if you if you uh, set up a company, right, with a Thai and hold like forty nine percent, the company can hold land in China. How many percent? Forty nine. Ah, forty nine is foreign. Yes. Fifty one is Thai. Yes. In a company, then that company can buy. Uh, ours is sixty forty. 60, 60 Filipinos, oh, okay. 40 oh. yeah. More cruel than Thailand. <laughs> but they are trying to, but we have this uh, revision for the constitution because yeah. they want it. Uh, not yet. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> but condominiums is uh, different. You can own condominiums. So condominiums, because uh, we did oh. a few condominium projects, it, foreigners are allowed, I think, up to 51%. So we, percent? if you have 100 units, I think foreigners are allowed. They have like fifty-one units of a hundred. Uh, because in our in our in our country, sixty forty, you can you are you foreigners are allowed to buy forty percent of all the units. Okay, here it's here it's higher, right? But but there are different ways to do it. I mean, you can do like a long leasehold, like thirty years or something. If you wanted to buy a house here, that's also possible. So we have this different this is still Bangkok, no? This is still this is Bangkok. outer skirts of Bangkok. Oh, what was that? Outer skirts. Outside oh, metro, oh, metro, yeah. metro, metro, metro in the metro. This would be a different province, not Bangkok, but it's still considered like the outer skirts of Bangkok. Mm. Even though it's, it's called not Bangkok, this area. How far from Bangkok? Uh, <laughs> it's about forty minute drive. So about. And who will be the market? Market here? is the is the uh, people around here. Uh, living around here. around here so around here what do we have you go see another project it's a university hub right yeah so there will be universities teachers workers In this area will be like factory workers office workers we have some uh government officials buying here and then and then, uh, and then also some students and stuff buying but, but very little very little students may be uh, condominiums right yeah more condominiums but some we have some schools around here so yeah. parents buy. Yeah, okay. So, and if, if, if anyone is interested to uh, invest in Thailand, we can help if you want. If you have people that want to do um, retirement homes and stuff, like we can find visas and build units for you. Investment, you know, this place from Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, I'm Canadian too. I'm from Toronto. Oh, you have Canadian citizenship? Yeah, Canadian mm. citizenship. Yeah. And, so, she, and the husband is there also. And you can invest. We so we're looking at doing like retirement homes for foreigners, right? It's a lot cheaper here to retire. Lifestyle is better. You get a maid, driver, healthcare, and everything is cheaper. So we're also looking at these sorts of projects. So if anyone is interested, you can yeah. If there's demand, we can build it. We can find a nice location, whether it be like a condominium or if you want cool villas and stuff like that. And the visa stuff is a retirement visa. So we can help with. Even insurance was okay. So you pay, maybe you pay uh, before coming. So let's say 45 years old, right? You're still working in the Philippines or something. You pay this uh, uh, insurance, health insurance, right? so you're about 50 and you come. And if anything happens, then the insurance will pay. So we're looking at that, that sort of deal right now with some other countries. Uh, but I don't know, if you're interested, you can contact them or support them or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, some years back before the pandemic, yeah. I was able to sell a property here in Pattaya. Yeah, Pattaya. Do you remember the orange building, orange uh, townhouses? There's so many. No, There's so many. many. Pattaya. Uh, so many. You know, somebody bought one from the US, yeah. and I was the agent. Oh, okay. There's so many. I made some money, but prepare. Yeah, so, because you don't make your not license here. So, any questions? Not because we can buy pine. How is the how is the housing uh, situation in the Philippines? Is it okay? okay it's down, bad. Uh, it's bad. It's bad because no demand, or bad because of the banks, or bad because of the economy. Okay. Okay, well, we have actually more than six million already in the, uh, as of twenty twenty the housing backlog. Oh really? So Why the so government, much? the government is. Uh, have this 4PH program that is a program for uh, supposedly 
low-income earners, but in Canada, in Canada uh, only a few is what you call this, only a few are uh, qualified for that because uh, it's like a condominium unit with clusters of from the four to twenty four to fifteen stories and a cluster of twenty for every floor. Uh, and it's 22 square meters. However, the cost is um, a maximum of 1.8 million. So, so that expensive. Is, that is million, million? Oh, pesos, right? In pesos. Oh, not, yeah. I thought you asked. So, <laughs> uh, in pesos. But still, it's uh, uh, very high. Very oh, still so very I have three houses. Oh, oh, my husband has a family and a project for the informal settlers, oh, informal settlers. Yeah. so that's 850,000 for uh, land, uh, duplex, and duplex like 28 square meters, and 60 square meters land, but uh, it seems it's still uh, short, but Be because of no demand or because the banks are loan or what, what's the... Like people still want houses. Actually, there is a demand yeah. from the people who want houses. The income is sufficient to pay. Okay. Yeah, when Ben said that there is a suspicious backlog, this is in the lower level. Okay. You know, the lower level. However, this is a little bit of medium. medium. This, is, this project? This project. This project is uh, mid to low. So, 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 so I mean, the other is one to three million. One to three million. And most of the clients, uh, well, buyers are from the middle class. Yeah. Middle working, 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 yeah. working, yeah, working, 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 Brokers, we can promote this in our country or anywhere. For example, in the U.S. or in, in Canada, or whatever. We want to know how much or how many percent do you give us commission? Okay. That's the question. So th this is the thing with these these projects, right? We're not looking for brokers or investors because this is to sell locally. But what my, my company is looking for is investors that can bring in, like it's a partnership, it's not just a broker, that can bring in a project or demand from abroad and we, and we look at the land and we build a building. Oh, investor. 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 In that way, here. you have to investor come. Here or you invest no, 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 they, they come here, but not really investing, but bringing people, actual buyers to us and we develop the project for you. And then we share the profits, that's how we do it. So let's say, let's say, so example, retirement homes, right? People want like maybe um, six months here, six months in their country, and you say, I have 10 buyers. 10 buyers, right, for sure, we'll put that money. That's when we come together, we do a project together, and we share the, the profits. Yeah. It could be one unit, two units, three units, whatever. It be so it's gonna be a joint venture. Sort of, between the sort of. foreign investors. Sort of. But it's not the local contractors. Yes, but, but not joint. Not, not doing a joint venture company because my, my company is preparing to IPO, go into the stock market. IPO? Yeah, this year. So we're filing in, in April. But what we can do is like do some sort of contract where, so for example, you might put down a down payment for the units if we start a project and then we, you know, we build a project to just to guarantee that you actually sell the units when it's done. I don't know where you Thailand. Do you have what we call in the Philippines, which has just started about two years ago, the, re the Real Estate Investment Trust, a project. We invest in the project, yes, depending on what. You do the project, you give us a Yeah, there is. But that, Same, you do yeah, that. Have it, but it has it to be a public company. Yeah. So after we it's go public, with the stock exchange. 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 Yes. So we have that, and we're going to do that after we yeah. go public. Yeah. Soon. So it's possible. I mean, possible. Yeah, 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 very possible. And Thailand is a great. So place. are you listed in the stock market? Not yet. We're filing in April. We're filing for IPO in April. We'll probably trade in uh, November of this year. I see. So then after that, I can do a lot of IPOs. Yeah. Yeah. 
And we can probably get investors for you. Yeah. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. It'd be very interesting. Thailand is still uh, growing in terms of economy. Right now, it's a bit of a slump, a little bit. And uh, now, that a lot of real estate companies are moving up to the yes. higher end. So, for example, like they just announced this group, housing unit cost um, one billion baht. One you house know, by jumping down. You know what? Billion. Billion. So they're doing like very super A plus high end. And compared to places like condominiums, right? Uh, in major cities, for example, like the UK, New York, like London, New York, Shanghai, uh, cost per square meter here is still very cheap. It's still a huge opportunity. We have a lot of, before COVID, a lot of Chinese investors, a lot of people coming in from Cambodia. I think even now, starting to come in and buy units and stuff here. So huge growth investment, and uh, Phuket is now a place where it's very booming. Mm -hmm. Chiang Mai, I don't know if you've been to Chiang Mai. Up yeah, I've been to Chiang Mai. Boom, but now it's uh, slowing down because of the PM, you know, the pollution and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think if the government's able to settle that down, Chiang Mai will start to boom again. A lot of Japanese communities have moved to Chiang Mai because of the weather, and they've created sort of like a- Chiang Mai is what? Chiang, Chiang Mai? Boom. Boom. Before, but now it's going down because of the pollution. Mm -hmm. The PM, the from I don't know whatever is happening up there, but in the future will probably get better. Yeah. So I mean, if anyone's interested to invest or look at doing joint, joint projects, you can uh, talk to Doctor Sopon and reach out to him. Yeah, you can talk to Doctor David directly. Buy one. Take one. Take one. <laughs> this one we're not really interested for you to buy because it's more of the local demand, right? To be very honest, like. You yeah. prefer local demand. Yeah, local demand. But he yeah, also so developed the uh, condominiums. Condominium, yeah, buy one, so buy two. <laughs> so they yeah. buy five. <laughs> yeah. So maybe we go take a look at some thank of the. Thank you so much. Thank you. So let us thank Dr. David, please. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah.